Dr. Scott Hanna, who is the director of the Long Conference, and myself. I'd like to welcome you to the concert this morning. Um, this has been an amazing week, and for those of you who were at the first concert, maybe you heard me say that every year I say this has been the best year, and I'm going to say that again. This has been the best year. Uh, we've had a wonderful group of campers, and I think you're going to greatly enjoy the program. If you notice, there are no programs for this concert. In an effort to be green, we are emailing all the campers a PDF of the program, and our conductor will be announcing the program from the stage. So. We appreciate your cooperation with that. It'll make it easier for you to forward the program to your family and friends with your student's name highlighted, of course, on the program. Um, so thank you for being here this morning. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the concertmaster for the Philharmonic Orchestra, Mr. Leo O. Welcome, Mr. James Caswell, to the stage. Thank you. 
That was my very, very good good friend and colleague, Mr. Daniel Shu, playing the, the field drum for the Earl of Oxford March. It's a march written in the 1500s by British composer William Byrd. Uh, I want to say just a couple of things before we continue on with the concert. Um, one great, great thanks to uh, the faculty that uh, helped the students and I throughout the week. We have uh, our sexual coaches. Phil can come out and take a, take a bow. We're all the sexual coaches that work with us. Oh, there you are, stand up. Uh, these guys taught sexuals, private lessons, um, helping me get this program in shape. I did not do this by myself at all. Big thanks. And also to my um, my trusty rehearsal assistant, Mr. Matt Chan. Where's Matt? <laughs> Before we play our next piece, I want to say you have the most exquisite children. <laughs> And you've probably been to a few concerts where the, the conductor said, I'm so happy to see you, and I, I, I think your kids are great. But this teacher really means it. Um, if you've never played a musical instrument before, if you've never played an instrument at this level before, you, you, you should know that to do this it takes an extraordinary amount of courage and vulnerability. And any young person that will pick up an instrument Stay on an instrument, take private lessons, practice, uh, mess up, fix it, fall down, get back up, keep going, keep going, keep going. He is, in my heart, just the, the best kind of person there is. And the fact that we worked so hard this week and we trusted each other and had faith in each other, it, it, just, it just means that this, in order to make just 20 minutes of really beautiful music, we did all that just to make something beautiful for 20 minutes. This, I believe, is going to save our planet. This is, this, is where, this is where things are at with the human race in my mind. And I want to thank you so much for letting me be a part of that because I've had a short, terrific time. And you must be very proud. Uh, our next selection is by Anthony Dvorak. It is the third movement of his Symphony No. 8 in G major, the Allegretto Grazioso. Thank you. 
outstanding musicians at the awards banquet last night. They are Jackson Eckel and Neil Owen. Our next selection is a very, very mature work. I usually only do this with high school students, and it is called uh, Confluence by Sean Bolotin. And we talked about the word confluence with the students. Confluence means a merging together of two equal forces that creates a larger force. And we kind of talked about the concept of this word. Uh, usually it refers to the confluence of two rivers, which come together to equal size rivers, rivers and form a larger one. But we also talked about the fact that it could be ideas uh, coming together, peoples coming together, ideas, um, attitudes that create larger concepts for people in on a relational level. Anyway, it's a gorgeous piece by Sean Bolaflin, and I think you will really, really enjoy it. Confluence by Sean Bolaflin. So this last piece is kind of special to me. Um, actually, it was introduced to me by Daniel's father, who's a Vinny Shu. He conducts at Memorial High School, and I was his rehearsal assistant back in the day. And he introduced this piece to me, and it's really kind of a, a fun piece because um, it's when orchestra meets mid-century rock. 
And I actually had uh, my second orchestra at the Ohio High School play this for me last year because it reminded me so much of my childhood. And I said, okay, guys, uh, I've got a summer birthday and I'm turning 50, so you're playing this at UIL for my 50th birthday. And, and, and they did it. It was really, really great. So uh, I'm probably older than you guys now. So, But if you remember that far back, it's, it's, you'll, 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 you'll remember. Okay, it's got four solos, two violin solos, our concert master, Leo Rome. And mention him when you mention. And then Jackson Echol and Josephine Kim on um, cello. So this is Red Rhythmico by Kirk Mozart. Thank you. 